guys, and today I'm going to be showing you my skin prep and makeup routine that is all very quick, simple, but cute in my opinion, and this is a great routine if you're looking for something that is glowy and natural looking, but not greasy, and of course lasts on the skin. That's very, very important to me. I'm really excited that this video is sponsored by and in partnership with Neutrogena. I love so many of their products, and today we're gonna be focusing on one of their newer collections, which is the Bright Boost Collection, which I have been loving and using for the past few months, or whenever it launched, who knows? Time means nothing anymore. But this is a routine that I can get done in 10 minutes, but you know me, I'm a chatter, so this video may be over 10 minutes, but if I'm just like sitting down listening to my true crime podcast or whatever it may be, I can easily get this done in 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. Keeping skincare very simple today. Some days I go all out, other days, like today, is bare minimum. So with clean skin, I'm using the Neutrogena Bright Boost Illuminating Serum. This is oil and alcohol free, really good if you're looking for something light and something luminous. It has a great texture that doesn't feel heavy on the skin, and it also gives you that instant look of brighter skin, which you might be able to see. Moisturizers and SPF are always important no matter what, but especially when you're using exfoliators. So that's why for my moisturizer and SPF today, I'm gonna be using the Neutrogena a bright boost moisturizer with SPF 30 really important that um, when you're using exfoliators and other products to help reveal you know your brighter skin help with texture the SPF is gonna help of course provide your sun protection this is a really nice texture that again the glowy not greasy my favorite phrase doesn't turn me any weird colors like some SPFs tend to do and it works really nicely under makeup and to make it simple like this to have the moisturizer and SPF together I really like especially for a quick day on the way out the door and I'm getting the SPF, I'm getting the production, but it's also got um, vitamins C and E in there that are going to help to hydrate and further brighten the skin. So I will have both of the products that I use linked down below if you want to check out the collection a little bit more. Let me know if you have tried it. I know a lot of you have tried some of the previous Neutrogena recommendations of mine, so I'm curious to know if you've tried this one yet, but let's go ahead and get into the makeup. So starting with makeup, I'm actually going to skip a primer because if I'm moving quickly, I often won't grab for one. The skincare that I just used, I'm nice and hydrated, I'm ready to go. All I'm gonna do is actually gonna use the setting spray that I'm gonna use at the end of my makeup in the beginning. And this is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I do that quite often. I feel like it helps with longevity and um, helps things stick on my face because sometimes they tend to drip off. So <laughs> for foundation today, I've recently started reusing this guy because it's so good, it's a foundation that I didn't wanna love, the Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Foundation. It's so nice. I love this on, generally, like if I'm trying to get out the door, um, that generally means a more natural makeup look, and I find this to be such a nice natural foundation that blends like a dream. It wears nicely on me. I did do a full review of it when it came out. I also really like the shade. And yeah, it's just a great foundation. <laughs> Using a sponge with it, you could use a brush as well. You can see like, I've got lots of breakouts and stuff. I'm not gonna be focusing on trying to cover all of that. You know, it is what it is at this point. <laughs> just trying to even out my skin tone. And I used maybe a pump and a half. It's a very liquid foundation, but you can see how quickly that blends out. Like it takes very little work and that's why I like, that's why I like it for quick days, but I also love the way it looks. For concealer, I'm gonna be using this one from Makeup Forever, the Matte Velvet Skin. I've been quite liking this one. I used this in a Get Ready With Me a little while back in a different shade. This is the newer shade that I think is a better match for me in 4.2. And I quite like this. I've been keeping it very simple and not doing any triangles or anything like that. Barely even letting it set under my eyes because the foundation kind of has a more light to medium coverage. I want my freckles to show through. This is not like a perfected skin look. It's like a wanna look put together. And like, I don't have perfect skin, so no amount of makeup is gonna get rid of the breakouts. <laughs> I feel like I say it is what it is to myself a lot lately. <laughs> For my under eyes, I was super excited when this came out. It's the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Powder. So they have the original, which I liked. Then they came with a deeper one, which is a little too deep for me. This honey shade is a really nice one for my under eyes. I haven't actually tried it on my whole face, and I won't do that today, <laughs> but I have been using it on my under eyes, and it's really nice. I mean, this powder is a cult favorite for a reason. I'm not like a baker in the makeup or kitchen sense, but, um, 
I do like it just to set my under eyes and you'll literally it will last you a lifetime if you use it like that I feel like I could use it all over my face and that would actually make things a little faster if I was using you know that's kind of a, a good tip for me like for me I know that I can do my makeup very quickly <laughs> um, but I know some people can't so you want to think about double duty products as well so I could probably use that powder on my under eyes on my face and then therefore I'm only you know only have to look for one product only have to reach for one product today however I am going to use the Sephora micro smooth powder I think that this is so nice it is so smoothing if you're looking for a powder that's not too powdery this is great it's not going to be like the most bulletproof matte powder ever but it's really gorgeous and I know I'm going to go back in with that setting spray anyways which helps to further lock things in place but it's really nice <gasps> oh my god Rue you scared me why are you yelling? Want to say hi? Wow. She's mad. This is why my makeup probably will take longer than 10 minutes because I get distracted by cats. So mad. What's wrong? That truly scared the life out of me. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I didn't hear her coming. <laughs> oh man, she's so loud. I don't get the comments anymore, but... I guess maybe she's like not as loud or something when I'm, I don't know but I used to get comments when people could hear her in the back of videos asking me why I was ignoring my child I'm like um that is a Siamese cat just kind of bronzing everywhere heavily bronzing the forehead I like bringing it across my nose as well just kind of what's left over I have been drawing in my brows a little bit more than I used to but if I'm talking quick makeup it's just gonna be Benefit 24 hour brow setter and I will skip the brows actually filling them in Especially if it's something more natural. I tend to put brow product in if I'm wearing the eyeshadow now But otherwise pretty much nothing Just the clear I just like the hold and I like the the look that it gives But I will almost never skip out on using at least two mascaras. I'll skip a primer Okay to make it more realistic. This is the pure fully charged mascara you're like 10 minute makeup look and she's using two mascaras. I know. Although, oh god, this mascara is actually very good. I could just use it on its own, I guess. Look at that. I'm doing it kind of messily, but so much length, so much volume. It gives me basically the effect I look for when I layer mascaras. Okay, I'll only use one. Fine. <laughs> you convinced me. So desperately missing from this look now is some blush. I'm going to use the Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo. I'm reaching for this because I love the shade and it is a duo so I can kind of get my blush and highlighter in one one reach. Uh, there's also, you know, blushes out there that I've talked about this in other videos but blushes that have shimmers in them that make great kind of duo hybrid blush highlighters. That's another great option to have on hand. Or you can skip highlighter too, depending. I love this blush. And I'm just gonna take on my blush brush the shimmery side and use it like a blush topper. This is a very blushy look, but you can see it adds a little bit of ding. A little ding, you know? Before I get into my lip, I'm going to go back with the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is coming together real quick. Even faster when there's no cats, no blabbing, but... How often is there no cats, no blabbing when it comes, into, <laughs> it comes to my life? That's my brand, baby. Cats and blabbing. So, uh, this is newish from MAC, the Powder Kiss Liquid Lips. And I, you know, it depends on my 10 minute face. Sometimes it might be a balm. Like, sometimes it might be a lipstick. You could do a red lip with this. You could do whatever you want. This is a combo that I tried recently that I really liked. This is the More the Mer... Her? Mer here? M-E-H-E-R. Mer? Mer? That's confusing to me. These are really nice. They dry down matte. This is actually a really nice shade on its own too, but I love a combined lip color. But I'm going to add just a little of this Date Maker shade. Much easier to pronounce in the center of my lips. A little more peachy. 
So here's the finished look. I don't know if this video came out under 10 minutes. I've yet to edit and here I am talking about it, making it longer. But if you would like to check out the Neutrogena Bright Boost collection, I will have it linked down below as always. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time.